The OPZ from Teenage Engineering and the Touch Me from Playtronica are two really unique musical devices that can be hooked up together, I found out recently, and I've used them to make a really minimal, portable, experimental soundboard. Here's an example of how you can use the two together. The video has timestamps if you want to skip ahead and I'll have links to individual videos on how to use the Playtronic Touch Me and the OPZ from Teenage Engineering. But basically, if you don't already know, the OPZ is a sampler and synthesizer and the Touch Me is a MIDI controller that uses the electricity running through your body or anything that is conductive to create MIDI notes. Full disclosure, although I wasn't paid by Playtronica, they did send me this for free to test. Since the OPZ accepts class compliant devices, all you need is one cable or one cable and adapter. Here I just have a basic micro USB cable and on the other end, there's a USB to USB-C adapter. So I'm just gonna connect it all up. Quick word to the wise in regards to cables, find the best micro USB cable you have lying around. I was going proper insane the first time I tried to hook these two up together because I thought it was broken, but as soon as I got a good reliable cable, it worked completely fine. Although you see the lights here and that it's reacting and you have power, obviously no sound we hear coming out of the OPZ right now. Uh, and what we want to do is get our app that I've got hooked up off screen, go to MIDI setup, and the basic thing that we wanna do is hit MIDI enable. All right, now when we've gone to touch a controller, you're just hearing a bunch of random kicks, even if I go over to one of the synth tracks. This is because by default, the MIDI channels are set so that the kick is track one. The simplest way to get around this is just to hit channel one to active track. Okay, at least now something's happening. Not only can we play this ARP now, but it's really easy to just change to a different track. And we get all the different synth sounds. Just a side note, if you learn something new or you find anything helpful, liking and subscribing is a way to let YouTube know that this was somewhat a useful video and you'd like to see more. Maybe drop a comment too if you have any questions, musical or technical stuff that I can help with. And if you have feedback on how to make this better or more clear, let me know. One quick tip for extra functionality is that if we go to the ARP track, what we can do, I see that our key is in C. I can play... both at the same time. Let's record in a really short sequence in. So if I hit record and play, it's gonna wait until it gets some kind of MIDI input. And let's record a really short pattern. If your results are getting a little too unpredictable, you can hold the track and turn up the quantize and then it will try to lock it into the grid a little better for you. I think it's almost cheating to use that much delay because it keeps it in time much better. But let's try going over to the performance track and recording in some randomization. Make it a bit longer. Some short and long notes. We want to make it more weird. Let's go and we put in some step components. <laughs> I 
That's a bit too much for me. Can record in some parameter changes. Add in some LFO. Assign it to the filter. I forgot to light my hipster candles, so I'm going to put them on now. And then I'm just going to record a short performance. To get the full benefits of this controller, I'd recommend hooking it up to something weird. I've just set it up with a bowl of water. Um, the bowl is a very cool gift from a couple of my friends, so thank you. Uh, and I'm going to do a free jam with it until the end of the video. If you came this far and learned something, uh, thanks a lot. And if you want to stick around, thanks as well. I'm just going to play. Let's start something from scratch. <laughs> Thank you.